Right, hello and welcome to another video, and today you might be thinking, I recognise this game. You've done a video on this before. You would be right. I have done a video on Superbike 8 before. But you may notice some differences, some massive differences this time. And obviously that means, well... The differences are due to the fact that I'm playing the PC version, which I got today. So I've been doing a little bit of playing on it, and I got it obviously for the intention of modding, as you know, I like to do that. But, I'm not going to go into the details about that, but here we are on the menu, and straight away you notice, where's that like cool thing? Like where, like the footage in the background. Now, if this isn't recording at 1080p, I'm um, sorry. But I did put it into ATP in the launcher, so it, I'm just saying that because it looks slightly off, but that could be the aspect ratio, or it could just be me being stupid. Alright, so I've done a quick race, but may as do another one. Um, let's be Nori. No, I need to go on team selection first. No, oh, for God's sake. Oh, I might as well just choose a, just a track. Let's choose Valencia. So I'm going to be very bad at this, by the way, because um, I'm playing on Xbox One controller, and it does not handle the same like, in the slightest. So, probably because I had all the assists on and I have them all off now. Right. Uh, okay, they're on rookie apparently. So I don't think it's saved what I had last time. Let's put them onto amateur. <laughs> you know, I'll start at the back actually. As you notice, I've been doing some of these videos lately. Uh, more just live commentaries and just go with the flow. Yeah, they're, they're quite fun to make, so if you want to see more, just let me know. And yeah. Right, we're just going to head to the race now. So, you know, you get some 2007 pictures in the background. Obviously, I know it's 2007 purely because of James Tosland being on the uh, Castro. Right, engineer, see what the settings are on here because you could change the uh, setup on the uh, PS2 version, but then you basically just went straight to track. Uh, so, this is basically just just the one from Superbike X, basically. Right. So I'm guessing this is just really how this is a uh, this is set out. Just like Superbike X and Superbike Generations, which um, I've also played. I've got that on uh, Xbox, and uh, also got it on the PC yesterday. So as you know, I, I ordered both these at the same time. So I'll probably do a video on that. But that is beside the point. As you can see, there's some new cutscenes. So Biaggi's on pole. I mean, I really like these cutscenes, to be honest. I'm just basic. This could be more of a review of the game rather than just me like, oh, look at this game. Well, that basically is what a review is, but uh, just to ignore me, ignore me, I'm just talking shit as per usual. So, uh, Nieto, Lanzi, uh, Neukirchner. I, uh, I did a quick couple of corners as him. Actually, I've already forgotten which track I picked. I am at Valencia, right? Probably not, but <laughs> can't really tell. But as you can see, the graphics look quite nice, to be honest. They uh, are very good for a 2008 game, so... You know, they really outclass themselves. So. I can't remember if MotoGP 08 on the Xbox 360 has this. I don't think it does, though. Whether it does on the PC or not, I don't know. But if they didn't, they definitely missed out, because this is quite a good, uh, good thing. Okay, I'm guessing you're probably getting bored of this now, as I am, but we're on P17, so we might as well go to P22. Well, I'm pretty sure I just saw um, a slight mistake a minute ago. I'll go, I'll go back to that in editing. <laughs> Play that again, but... Uh, Alright, let's get ready. So, I do have a jump start on, so I've got my camera on. Some of the best of starts. So, yes, 
we are at Valencia. And I can't believe I forgot so fast, to be honest. This camera goes not too bad. Um, I've said a quick flick too quick. Um, one thing I've noticed from actually just doing this is that uh, the front end. Yeah, that's to go. Oh, Fallen Rider by Badavini. Oh, bollocks. I've caused some accident and I've just rammed straight into Biagi's bike because I'm smart. It could be Chaus, but I don't know. Okay, so they're both, they're both out of the race now. So, uh, P19 out of 22. It was Biagi. Um, not going too well. As, uh, as you would know with these old games, uh, I just jump on and record. So, you know. Not brilliant. At oh, God. Oh, please, please don't give me that. Because you get ride throughs and it is annoying. Now, one thing I would like to try, may maybe this be off camera or something, I don't know. Could be on camera, but. Oh, shit. Well, it was like. It wasn't actually an exploit as such, but like. Um, I'd probably say. Oh, I'm just going to restart. Not, not even an oversight, but a Donington. Oh! I think we call that another restart. Uh, at Donington, um, on my GP08 there's a barrier to stop you taking the old circuit. And as there is on pretty much all modern games with Donington parking. Well, so there's the barrier. And on this game, on the, on the PS2 version at least, don't know if it's the same with the uh, PC version, obviously, because I've only played it today, and you know, not very much of it either. And uh, I've not played Donington yet. Now there were the cones. Oh, that was a bit of a hefty rear end loss. But there was the the, the cones, and those were what blocked you from going out the old circuit. I say blocked, but they really didn't. Okay, Troy Bayliss has crashed. Come on, Bayliss. Come on, lad. Bayliss. Come on. Oh, bloody hell. Okay, maybe, maybe. I need to try something else, perhaps. I'm going to keep going. I'm just going to try and keep going, and if I can't, then I'm too so bad. Yes. Maybe someone needs to uh, change their um, settings slightly. Uh, so I don't lose the front end. But yeah, as I was, I was, as I was uh, saying, you can just go straight through the uh, gap, basically. Uh, well, you can just hit the cones, it doesn't knock you off. And you just take the old circuit, you get a warning flag, so you can do this once. Um, and you can do it twice and get a ride through. Probably still faster than actually taking it properly. Um, the last sector's around 30 seconds. And you cut basically 20, 20 to 25 of them out, so. It's. Uh, Now, I'm really glad that this is off, because, uh, actually no, I'm annoyed that it's off, because that wasn't realistic in turning, in, uh, tier. I don't know what it is, but there we go, changed it, it feels like it's probably going to be a long video, but who really cares, may as well just go to time attack and try the next exploit, uh, bit different rider, because I think we overused Nori Haga, so... Also, like, see, oh yeah, of course, there wasn't actually all of the tracks in um, in Superbike 8. Like, Vallelunga wasn't in there, so the first time I experienced this was a ride. Because it, it was on some other Superbike games, but I never played it. So, first time I experienced this is pretty much just a ride. Um, let's see. Monza was definitely on there. Aston was on there. Salt Lake City wasn't in there. Monza was. Bruno wasn't either. Uh, there was only like a couple of tracks missing, like three. But anyway, let's go to Donington. So I remember Donington was always the European race and Bronze Hatch was the British one. Um, so let's have a look. Uh, 
Okay, my controller's disconnected for a minute there. Is it, is it reconnected yet? Does the game like it that the controller disconnected? It does not. Oh my, okay. So now I'm not navigating with the controller anymore. I'm having to use the keyboard. So let me unplug the controller and plug it back in. Um, yeah, I'm probably just going to cut this until I get my controller back in. So. I can't to wait for it to turn off, I'm just going to plug it back in. Okay, no, still doesn't work, right, I'm going to have to, uh... I'm just going to have to choose my rider with the keyboard. <laughs> yeah, comment down below if you want to see me play this, uh, with assist on, obviously, on a keyboard. Uh, or any other games I've got, like, VRTG or, um... You know what you call it? Uh, what's it called? F1 2016. Why did I forget what that was called? I don't know. But uh, yeah, if you want to see me play that on a keyboard, just let me know. Right, change controller settings. On def. Okay, I'm guessing it doesn't like you unplugging your controller mid. Uh, no, I don't want to control do these control the same. Oh. Okay, I will. I will be. I'll be right back. Uh, just gotta restart the game. Right, it's just loading. Um. <laughs> yeah, note to self, don't leave this bit in, just wait till I get to the menu before I uh, cut back. Right. So, uh, restart the game, and the controller's working again now. So, as I was doing, uh, time trial, team selection, uh, uh hand spray, so Robbie Rolfo, track selection, Donington, that's Falalunga, just clicked on the wrong one. Very smart. Right, there we go. Donington. Um, don't see any other reason to go to right, not to go to race. Uh, go selection non. Yeah. Right. Right. So it's apparently the seventh of September two thousand eight. Well, I'm nine years behind the Right. Well, not actually quite nine. So. Okay, 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 so that basically, that setting, meant that you could lock up. It's pretty sweet. Not gonna lie. What the hell is going on with the Dunlop Bridge? Oh no, please don't tell me they put a wall in. No, there's a wall! No! Okay. Yep, yeah, see, Rolfo's on the floor, he's just like, nah, I'm done. So... Now I'm just going to jump into some challenges. Uh, I've already played one, but I didn't actually complete it, so... That's special. Oh, rear tyre skid, I can do that. From what I can see, all the challenges that are in this game are in the PS2 version. Whether that's whether that seems... whether that turns out to be true or not. But all the ones I've tried, or looked at at least. Time is going. I remember this one. It was like really hard because basically you cut off the track, as I was going to say. You've only got to skid for three seconds, that's not too bad. But keeping on the track is definitely the hard part of this challenge, not actual skidding. Even though apparently I have. Okay, now I have skidded. A, a skid for a third of a second and then rode around for a few seconds. Stuff. Pulling the wheel and stop it. So, this, uh. This game, rather than a port, um. Well, actually, I would say they made this game and then they made the, um. PS2 version, I would say. PS2 version probably be an afterthought. Then again, actually, 2008, yeah, actually, no, it's definitely an afterthought. Okay, I need to stop doing that. 
yeah. But to be honest, this kind of feels like a HD remastered version, if you know what I mean. Like keeping some of the same assets and things, but like more high resolution. Obviously that's great, but it's like when I jumped from PS2 to Xbox 360 with uh, Merge GPU 8, which was like last year or something. I got Merge GPU 8, 08 to try it out, and like you can tell from videos, the writing style is nothing like. Nothing like the PS2 version, like they're basically different games. Oh shit! <laughs> right, um, I'm gonna have another well, like one or two more goes, and then you know, I'll, pro I'll probably have to uh, end the video. It's a bit, it's getting, probably getting a bit long now, but uh, yeah, especially because I've been a bit silent during this challenge. Right, so that actually went quite well for saying that. Uh, nearly half a second now. Oh, 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 no, no, no. yes. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> The front started to tuck, so I, <laughs> so I ran wide, really. God damn it. This is some good fun, though. Good old fashioned fun. Oh! How did that knock? How was that only a tenth of a second, really? Well, actually, it was a massive kick, but it didn't last very long, so that's probably what it was. 0.62. So this far as we've got, we've got to the strubbing this time, which is uh, unusual. So I'm going to take it nice and steady on the straight. Otherwise, I am definitely 100% going to uh, go straight on and fail the challenge. I mean, I'm going to go off the track on the straight by the looks of it. So, let's <sighs> probably going to be my last go now, but. Uh, Yeah, it's a. Uh, if you already have it, uh, like on the PS2 or whatever, like it's quite good. But you know, okay, one more go. But you know, I kind of recommend it. Like having having a go is it's quite fun. But uh, obviously, if you don't have the PC for it, I'm sure the Xbox version is very similar. So just get that. Well, PS3, I'm not like I'm not like a PlayStation hater or whatever. I just went through. PlayStation to Xbox, so I just compare those. PS2 and Xbox 360, so. And now I've got PC, PC as well, but. You know, play on your PlayStation 3 if you want. I really couldn't care less. Right. Oh, I've lost, <laughs> lost the front through this drumming. But as I said, that's my last go, so. You know, this has been Super Bite 8 on the PC. But it went about as badly as the uh, PS2 version did. Uh, maybe I'll call it Super Biker Fails at Super Bite 8 2. Probably not though. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.